Oh, okay. All right. I know. Little late. Little late. But we're here. All righty. Oh, how's it going, everybody? Another great day. Another great day on Rev and Thule. Already got ducks flying around. Oh, about looked like a sharpshooter there. Two out of three is not bad, though. <laughs> Who's all in the chat? That's what I'm curious about. We got four keys. I hope, anyway, for Keeve Mira, uh, Jay Gray, Dalton M360, NF Bastion, Talons here, Scanner, Dalton M, uh, Madden, Talon Palmer, Jake Gray, Scanner, Chuck Gaming, Brandon Freeman, Commando, Bastion Woodworking Beagles here. How's it going, Woodworking Beagle? AJ, AJ. Hi. Hi, AJ. How are you? Gosh dang, man. We already got more widget coming in. Better uh, turn that off. Alrighty, what do we got here? Golden eyes to start with. I tell you what, the females are so far the closest ones to being gold, uh, to being diamonds. Every golden eye female I get is like in the thousands, it seems, in the 900 to 1,000 something, and then the males are always like 700 or 800 or something. Golden eye, oh god. Who's seen the uh, the waterfowl video, huh? Who's watched that? Because I mean that it's like a tell-all, man. That's that's got all of my spots that I've found so far in that in that video. I think there's some really good ones in it too. But here we are. Here we got a uh, widgeon and golden eye. This is uh, this spot. I think it's oh, yeah spot number four on the video. So right on. Tony reacts. Yo, what's up, BZ? What's up, Tony? Jay Gill, hi, Mr. Amazing says, hey, hello, hello. You ate that hamburger so fast to make it there. <laughs> Bro, I did the exact same thing. We actually, they had ribeyes on sale. Um, being in Kansas City, get a lot of uh, beef for pretty cheap. So we had ribeyes on sale, and so we all cooked up, grilled up some ribeyes there. And, uh, and then... Oh, what was I gonna say? And a potato, and I was just scarfing it down. And I still wasn't fast enough, man. Still wasn't fast enough. Golden eyes here. Looking pretty good. We have a great wind for this location right now, too, which is fantastic. They're gonna be landing right here in the northeast. That's gonna be great. ABZ, best fishing planet YouTuber. <gasps> Thank you, Jason. My goodness gracious. I'm doing good, BZ. Ready to watch a great stream right on, man. I am ready to deliver a great stream. <laughs> Got a bunch of them landing in front of us here. Not too close, but also not too far, which is just perfect. That's what I love to see. Got two flocks here, so I figured, oh god, this guy's gonna scare away everything. Oh, that's just awful. Just awful. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. We had two of them lined up there, and I was like trying to shoot them, but my my mind was telling me things. My hand was not doing it. Uh, that's all right though. We got this male. The ones that landed down before, they were all females, but I think that the golden eye males just look pretty. Pretty amazing. I think they're very pretty ducks. That's why I put them on the thumbnail. I was like, heck yeah, man, they're beautiful. Um, howdy, Bo. Taven State says, how's it going, Taven? Hey, BZ. Blah, blah, blah. What time does the DLC come out? That's a great question, Brandon. I really don't know. Uh, if I did, I'd, I'd tell you, man. I swear. That's pretty high. Oh no. We scare all these. Another calm. Hopefully they turn around. I discovered your channel with the angler announcement. Your fishing planet guides were so helpful and you've inspired me to pick up the hunter call of the wild. It's fun. Taylor, that's awesome. 
Glad to hear it, Taylor. That's fantastic. Yeah, Fishing Planet, we've played that for quite a while. I don't know, since what, like 2000... 2020? Got some widgeon coming in here. I just like the sound of the call. There's no reason for me to actually use it. <laughs> we got all sorts of more widgeon, okay. We got two flocks of widgeon coming in, so I guess we'll just have to be patient. What are you guys? Geese, I guess. Not even telling us. Not even telling us. So hopefully, we're at 27,000. At some point, we might even have enough money to buy the Kachutori, and then we can try that out. The old pumpkin. I'm kind of wondering if it even is going to do very well, because it's in between rounds, you know? It might not even be that great, but we'll just have to see. Noah Swed. Swede? Is it supposed to be like Swede, or is it just Swed? S-Wed. How you doing, BZ? I'm doing quite well. How are you, Noah? So excited for this new update. Can't wait to see what the new great one is. Very true, man. Yeah, I think everyone's looking forward to seeing what it is. Like I said, my money's still on Moose, bro. My money is still on Moose. We'll just have to see. Look at these guys. They all stack up right there. We might just make out like a bandit. Oh! Rat. You rat. Come on, give it to me. Ah, oh, It's okay. We got a male witch in there. Very pretty. Very pretty. Female. Oh, gray male. He's got like a mohawk going on there. Very cool. Top notch, top notch. Another good spot, in case we get bored of the witch in the uh, European teal. Is, or the, the European... Uh, European Widgeon and the Golden Eye. Go down here and check out this map or uh, this location. Kilo Knight asks how I'm doing. I'm doing quite well. I even got some a little uh, little Reese's peanut butter cups, minis, a little miniature snack size, whatever you want to call them. Eh, eh. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Banging on all cylinders now. Four AM Eastern time, my goodness gracious. That's early. What's good, Bo? What's up, Avery? See ducks. I see ducks. In Giovellina. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Hey! <laughs> hey, sometimes I shock myself. Sometimes, man. Like Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley over here. A man, a man, a Annie Oakley is what I am. I don't even know where it landed. Can't even see it out there. That's okay. Let's get in the blind. We have a lot of teal and tufted and mallards to, to see here. You want Sika as the new gray one. Really? See, now, Teora, that's that's one of those maps I really haven't spent a lot of time on. I haven't even completed the storyline. So, uh, so yeah, I, I would prefer, like, a moose or something. I feel like a moose would be cool. Big, great one. I mean, the moose, diamond moose are already big, you know? It'd be really cool to see a great one moose. That'd be insane. Swedland. Swedlud. Swedlud. Swedland. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Noah, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Mallard's here. Let's see, we're gonna put our teal collar here. Mallard. Oh, oh, oh. We might have teal as well. Give me some of them Reese's cups. Do you ever get bored of Call of the Wild? Well, I don't play it that often, so no, not really. Um, I think I probably only play it to make videos and live streams. And, uh, of course, I do the same thing with Fishing Planet and, uh, in other games, so... 
really don't play them that often, you know? Um, there's a lot of new games that come out constantly that uh, wouldn't perform well on my channel since we focus mainly on outdoor simulation games. So, uh, so yeah, I just kind of uh, make videos of the outdoor simulation games and then I play the other games on my own time. Those ones just flew over us. I'm surprised they didn't scare anything away. They literally went right over us. I'm waiting for one of these ducks to just scare everything away. Okay, yep. It was that one. That one's the one that scared everything away. Well, we still got three. I'm telling you, sometimes it's better just to shoot early because then, then they just kind of, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. It is what it is, you know? I don't think we're going to be able to hit that guy. He's way out there. No one ever says my name right. <laughs> oh, golly. Now you're putting the... Now you're putting the, the, what do we got, tufteds here? Or, uh, peel? Yeah, they're breaking away. Took their time, didn't they? They're golden eye! What in the world? They broke away, but they're not landing here. <laughs> All right, we got more mallards coming in. We got tufted ducks coming in. Jubilina. I'm always surprised when I say people's names and people are like, oh my God, no one ever gets my name right. I just really wonder how other people mess up their name, I guess. There's certainly names where I'm like, oh God, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> but then other names I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. And then, uh, and then they always say, like, no one ever says my name right. I'm like, really? <laughs> I've seen some humdingers of last names. But, uh, yeah. Right on. Dana Sherman's here. Right on. You got it right at the end. Okay, good. I always hate when I, uh, say it, like, a thousand different ways. And then, but then people are always like, hey, you got it right. <laughs> and I'm like, but I said it, like, 20 different ways. How? Which one? Which one is right? Got three. At least. Maybe we better get out and go get some of these ducks. Actually harvest some of them. Instead of just shooting them and letting them sit on the ground. Female teal. Another female. Probably got three females here. No, this is wrong game, but can I have some tips on making lots of money in Fishing Planet? Uh, EESS, man. Emerald Lake, Everglades, St. Croix, San Joaquin. Four of the main places to make lots of money. Go there. Fish the fish, the fish you know. Emerald Lake, Walleye, Everglades, Bass, St. Croix, Pike, and San Joaquin, White Sturgeon. That's, uh, those are your sure ways of making a lot of money. And I'm actually going, I'm planning on just making a video about it. Um, because despite me saying it a bazillion times, it always seems like people still ask me, so might as well. You know, if the bird rework will apply to other birds on the maps, also, I do believe the great one is a moose. If you watch the trailer and look at the moose, it is huge. Huh, okay. Could just be like a max weight diamond, though, huh? No, um... Huh, I'm not sure about the other birds, man. I really don't. I mean, I sure it applies to all ducks and geese. I just don't know about, like, pheasants and quail. If they, like, fly off faster or something, you know? Look at this dude. What are you doing here? Tough to duck? Are you all by your lonesome? What are you doing? Seems like you're all by yourself out here. Splash! 
Does a gun come with the map? I I don't believe so. I haven't heard anything about it. Hey man, love the video's first live. Have a great hunt. Chris Rozier. Rozier. I hope it's Rozier. Rozier sounds cool anyway. Oh yeah. Henry Grabelar is here. How's it going, Henry? Good to see you. Colt Nichols. Hello. Ch Chiler? <laughs> I want to say Ch Chiler. But I could I could see it like weirdly pronounced like Kyler or something like that. Yes, forever. That's right. That's right. He's got it. <laughs> here we got two over here. What's the deal with these ducks, man? I think these are too high up, though. We got a flock coming in. We might as, we might just not shoot them. What do we got? We got widgeons. What? What do we got widgeons for? Gonna have to call them in. I don't even have any decoys for them. They're not liking it. I'm speaking their. I'm literally speaking their language, but it's not working for them. But we got teal. We got teal coming in. Hi, Bill. How are you? It's really cool to see you. Bill Swartz! It's always good to see you, Bill. Tell you what. I might remember everybody, but I know that you've at least been in three different streams. You live up on the East Coast, correct? Wanna say? What is, what is like, a, a really cool fish to go fishing for up there? I know there's some pretty good striped bass on the East Coast. Pretty sure, anyway. Good evening, Matthew Talent. How's it going? Tyler Monkey, what a snipe. What a snipe. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we got one duck right here. Hopefully these three are all... Oh, okay, they're taking off. Reload. Top notch. Well, we got three teal there. I know one of them was a male. Let's go look at it. I should be doing a better job at, like, spotting them to see if there's any, like, level threes to shoot. There's a light green male teal. Very pretty. Almost got, like, war paint on, eh? 342. That one's closer. Dark green on that one. Oh, we got two over here. Cool. Female and another female. Okay. I know we have one next to the blind as well. Shaye, really? That's see, that's that's see. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh, female tufted. There's the female tufted we shot. Good deal, dude. I love the waterfowl on this map. So much fun. I can just picture myself like if I was in school, I would just be like right here doing homework and stuff, waiting to hear the quacks or like the birds like flapping that come in or something like that. Then I'd be like, oh, oh, no, mom, I'm totally working on my math homework. I just got to shoot these ducks first. <laughs> then, oh, it'd just be so much fun. Jason's here. What's up? Said it wrong, but how, that's how everyone says it. Oh, really? How am I supposed to say it? You just go like rosé? Is it silent? It's funny that we've talked about this for so long, but it is like a thing of mine to pronounce everyone's names correctly. So, so tell me, spell it out like pronunciation wise so I can get a good idea of how to say it. Chalet, Rose. What likes do you recommend on Fishing Planet? ESS. Did they change up the graphics or something? It's almost doesn't even, doesn't even look like Call of the Wild. Really? You don't think so? Just a lot of water on this one. We got golden eyes here. Man, what is up with all the gold? That's the second flock of golden eyes I've seen. And they're breaking off. I think they're just teasing me, though. The other flock broke off, too, but they just ended up landing somewhere. Well, I might throw down, like, three golden eye decoys just to have it. 
just to have it out here. Are they adding more shotguns or don't you know? Uh, not that I know of. No shotguns that I know of being added. Little Skittle says hi. Keegan, hello. How's it going, Keegan? What's the new update about James? Uh, they reworked all of the waterfowl. There's a lot of uh, lighting and uh, texture um, stuff that they redid. And uh, yeah, obviously Rev and Thule as well. So a lot of uh, quality of life stuff as well as just um, quality of game stuff, honestly. Looking better, um, acting better. And then uh, Rev and Thule, waterfowl just made the game better. Truly. All right, we got an eastern wind. Let's see, any of my spots good for an eastern wind? Hmm, that's not a bad spot for an eastern wind. So we can go back to the uh, golden eye spot. I guess it's a western wind, technically. Yes, that is true. Chesapeake Bay, really good in the spring. Right on, Bill. I'll definitely have to make plans to go up there sometime. Back, I've been in Florida for a bit and couldn't make it. Hey, no big deal, Rocco. He's staying up all night until this map comes out. <laughs> you know, I've thought about doing a, a countdown stream. Uh, you know, just one of those, uh, oh, not the stream itself, but, uh, oh God, we got a flock coming in. Going prone, going prone. Other geese. Ah, pfft. Don't need no stinking geese. Can I shoot them, though? Oh, there's ducks. Just scared everything away by getting up here. Look at that. I just jumped down into here. Are they still gonna land? Despite me standing up there? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. They are! Well, top notch. Let's go. Hey mods, hey mods. He has 300,000 just to spend on this map. Oh, there you go. There you go. John Pranger, hello. Dang, this map is pretty big. It's pretty big, man. Pretty big, bro. Alright, we got some landing right there, it seems. Good deal, good distance. Good distance away. Would you recommend a baitcaster or a spinning reel for Everglades? Um, I think by Everglades, you probably could do a baitcaster. Gen generally, the baitcasters seem to be stronger than the spinning rods as you start leveling up through uh, Fishing Planet. Um, but the rods themselves seem to be shorter. So, uh, it's like stronger setups, but not as far. You can't cast them as far. All right, we got some good stuff here. So many ducks. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah, Rotten. Rotten luck. Hopefully we got at least three, though. There we go, silver golden eye male there. Pretty purdy. And a female. Another one floating our way here. Oh, we got something over here. Geese! Ew! Geeses! Another female. I'm not. Might get Call of the Wild. Yeah, Call of the Wild is a fun game, man. Michael can't wait for the angler. Dude, I can't wait for the angler either. I am pretty excited for the angler, man. Golden eyes. We got, we got golden eyes. Some, oh, there they are. Okay. They split up. There's one on our left, too. Yeah, just one, though. Any diamonds? So quick. Can't keep up with them. 
Get crabs, Maryland is the is the crab state. Oh, very true. Yeah, I remember seeing all the uh, all the crab decals that have the Maryland flag on them. Used to see those in college. Five hour energy. You see which lasts longer, the stream or me? Hey, Bo, greetings from Brazil, Indira. Indira. I hope that's how to say it. Indira. Well, my goodness gracious. Well, hello from Kansas. Just just as exotic as Brazil. <laughs> if uh sprawling meadows and and uh cows and bison <laughs> sunflowers and weed are exotic, then this is this is very exotic. No. Brazil is one of those places I always wanted to travel to. Someday, someday I'll get there. We'll make a video about it for sure. Mayday pigeons, mayday pigeons. Any good places do you know that you can hunt turkey well? What, in the hunter or in real life? <laughs> um, I mean, there's what, three different turkeys in the game now? Eastern, Mer Merriam's, and Rio Grande, I believe. So, you got three different places. Well, you got more than three different places, right? Three different species to hit up anyway. So female golden eye. Another female. Third female. And a couple of males too that we can't pick up for some reason. Boy, there's three just sitting there. Well, once we shoot these guys, we'll have to For some reason we can't reach these ducks that are right in front of us. Our guy's just going. <laughs> can't reach him, evidently. Been doing any fishing recently? Absolutely, Redneck YouTube. Yeah, I was actually... I was debating on putting out a Fishing Planet video for tomorrow or a, uh, or a real life fishing video for tomorrow. What do you guys think? I still... I, if we do Fishing Planet, I'm gonna have to edit it. But uh, I already have two real life fishing videos edited. So I could just toss those on. Alright, here we go. Waiting for the perfect moment. I think we did all right there, friends. We got, uh, how many we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's still a duck out there? Fair enough. What are you doing out there, crazy? Honor cuss. There's a gray widgeon. Pretty. God dang, man. Y'all getting stuck right here. There's a 923 male golden eye. Dude, the golden eyes are one of the prettiest ducks there. Very cool. Okay. Didn't mean to do that, he nail. <laughs> well, okay. Good deal. You almost hit 30,000 subs. Happy uh, all your work is paying off. Heck yeah, man. I'm happy for it too. Well, it's working out. I really thought we'd hit 30,000 today, but I think we're still 50 subs short. So I don't know. If we did a countdown, um, a countdown, like, live video. Um, what are those freaking called? Premieres. We did a countdown premiere to, like, midnight or something. Uh... Pacific time we did a, a countdown Pacific time video to the release of uh, of Rev and Thule. people might people might enjoy that when's the 30,000 congratulations stream oh I don't know I don't know Wednesday I guess <laughs> gray Le goose out there more geese over there. We got up here. More geese. My gosh, there's just geese all over the place. We ought to set up another goose spot. 
Like, uh, just over yonder or something like that. We just have to use a tent for it is the problem. There's no outpost nearby. Maybe over here? Looks like there's an outpost there, maybe. Let's go find out. We've been sitting in, uh, duck... Wow, we still got up. <laughs> we got out still on the deck. That's hilarious. Alright, let's go find out what's over here. I'm curious. We haven't gone on a trek in a while, either. We might find something cool out here. Plus, we'll take a boat over to it. It'll be a little bit quicker. My dad was a crabber on the bay. Really? That's pretty cool, Bill. It's always just really hard for me to, like, picture. I, like, I picture the TV shows and, like, the games and stuff like that. It's just hard for me to picture, uh, being a kid from Kansas and whatnot. I remember seeing the ocean for the first time. It just seemed like a really big lake I couldn't see to the other side of. <laughs> but the salt water was something else. You think of, like, water with salt in it. Your parents used to have you, like, swirl around in your mouth when you were sick. But the salt water was so much saltier than that. <laughs> You'd watch either. What's the max level for the hunter? The hunter, I believe, 60, isn't it? Got moose tracks here. need zones for something up here. Raccoon dog resting zone. There's a moose. What you doing there, crazy? Okay, one of these times I am going to get the heart. My aiming is just off at the moment. Every time I think, I think I'm aiming too low. Let's go pick up this moose and we'll find out. Boy, if I'm aiming from the front, I get him every time, but not not from the side. In real life fishing for you, I get to catch another stream! My goodness gracious. TKG, TKG. Trota, Trota man. Hey dude, how's it going? Not too bad. Not too bad. Am I getting that O right? Does that make a long O sound, or is it an O? Or is it an O sound? I can't really recall at the moment. Rabbit. This is why we need Bjorn 2 out here to help us with this stuff. You'd watch it. Where are, are you hunting right now? We're hunting in Reventuli Coast, down in the bottom left corner. We're gonna go over here and grab this spotting tower, and hopefully there's an outpost over here, but there might not be. Raccoon dog. Well, I hear it, but I don't see it. Ducks. Oh, there it is. Coming this way. When is the next Russian Fishing 4 video coming out? Good question. Um, supposed to be putting one out for uh, catfish at some point. But I've kind of been busy and haven't gotten to it in a while. It's difficult doing Russian Fishing 4 videos because they take about twice as long as other videos. So it's it's kind of hard for me to, like, justify spending two times as much time on one video versus on another, I guess. But we'll put out another one soon. Soon enough. There is the raccoon dog. What an interesting creature. Going back this way. 
Do you think it will be easy to get diamonds in this map because of all the ducks? I don't know, right? We've been hunting the ducks for a good while now, and we've only gotten one diamond Canada goose this entire time. So I'm not sure. Just got done downloading Call of the Wild. Any tips on keeping your stream on until it ends? Well, thank you, uh, Carranza. But um, actually, I would recommend watching... Um, we have a beginner guide video for the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's honestly like top notch. It tells you everything. Not it and the best part about it is it's not a lot of I've seen a lot of guides out there for the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's usually something like this. Oh, usually. Usually that turns this off, but it's not doing it right now. Usually um it's it's someone running through like shooting things highlights of them like shooting animals and they just talk over it oh you see down in the right corner there there's stuff blah 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 boom 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 i'm shooting things while i'm talking um boom dogs but uh, i actually like really help you really help you out and uh seeing everything there so I would look that up. Five median raccoon dog. We're just finding raccoon dogs everywhere, man. This is raccoon dog aisle. Cool. Trying to get a second one on there, but it ran real quick. When's the next fishing plan stream? On Wednesday. Opinion on the angler. Looks amazing, does it not? Graphics look great. Um, I brought it up to him. The guys holding the bait cast are a little weird. Um, in, the, in the one, uh, appearance of it on the video. But, uh, I think if they, uh, fix that, I mean, I, I really don't have anything to say. I think people are gonna be pretty ecstatic when it comes out, don't you think? What river do you fish in real life? I fish all sorts of rivers. Oh, a lot of creeks, though, too. Near where I live, uh, got the Kaw River, but there's Mill Creek and a lot of lakes nearby. Um, different spots, but I'm gonna give you all my, all my fishing spots, you crazy guy. Could I have freaking led it any further for a bird that was point blank? Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> 670 gold on that one, though. Molting. It's molting. Golly, bro. I led it like it was uh, 20 feet away from me. We did hit it, though. That's good. Somehow. Somehow we hit it. Unless this is something else entirely. It is. It's a raccoon dog. <laughs> we just straight up missed this ptarmigator. Whatever. Golly, dude. They just look like big raccoons. I agree. They do look like big raccoons, don't they? Getting very, very distracted right now. Now we're finding lynxes. Okay, this raccoon dog has to be pretty freaking close to dying now. And it probably doubled back. Is that it right there? dead on the ground. Looks like it. Not allowing me to spot it anyway. Blade Runner Gaming. How's it going? Need to finish watching this stream. Right on, man. Right on. 
Are you ever going to do a one hour or plus inner life fishing video? Um, I don't know, maybe. I usually pretty, I usually condense it pretty well. I will say, um, the closest though is uh, our Florida trip we went on. If you haven't watched the, the Florida trip on the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, go check that out. That's a pretty fun video, I think anyway. We, uh, my brother and I and my father all went on a trip to Florida and we uh, uh, recorded good good deal of it anyway, doing all the crazy stuff. So that was fun. And it's, uh, I think it's in the 40s, so it's not exactly an hour, but it's, it's up there. It could have easily been an hour, I just cut out a lot of stuff that I didn't think was important. When's the new map for Fishing Planet coming out to console? That's a great question. And if they were better at communicating, I'd be able to tell you, but I, I can't tell you because they don't tell anyone anything. <laughs> um, I could probably... Let's see here. Let me try to look up the Fishing Planet forum real quick. Maybe they've said something on it. seen anything, man. Yeah, nothing, nothing special on here anyway. Can't wait for the angler to come out. I hope it has some nice carp fishing lights. I hope so too, dude. That'd be sweet. Can you tell us where you are fishing on Wednesday? Um... I'm not sure. We might put out another poll to make sure, but I'm pretty sure last time I did a poll, it was between um, Amazonian Maze and uh, Blue Crab. Weeping Willows was up there as well, but uh, it seemed like the majority of people were voting for uh, Blue Crab and uh, Amazonian Maze. So that's what I would assume would be one of those two. Argentina. You need to catch some Dorados, dude. I really want to catch some Dorados. You have no idea. I'm getting better at fly fishing, too. I know that they catch them on flies sometimes, so. Um, so, yeah. One of these days. Definitely will, Arabelle. What level do you have to get the new map on Fishing Planet? 48. 48. Hear them. Oh, maybe those are ducks. <laughs> Tarmigan though, there's Tarmigan over here. There's the Tarmigan. I think the birds need to uh, decrease their level of smell. I think they smell things too well. For birds, it seems kind of crazy. Gotta run up on these Tarmigan here. See him. <laughs> Some moose. Come here, Tarmigan. It accepts you too. Riker. I, I, I definitely remember a Riker. Yeah, one molting for a one bronze. Nothing to write home about, but that's a bird, man. Got ourselves a bird. That'll work. Just now, just now, warning call for ptarmigans. Need to make our way the other way to get that lookout tower, but these ptarmigans just grab my attention, man. Oh, I see them already taking off. They are way out there now. Drat! Okay. Well, that was fun while it lasted. 
much cash do you get from the duck? So you get around 325, 350 bucks. Seems like, anyway. Which adds up over time. Do one big trip. Argentina and Brazil. <laughs> yeah. I think so. And I just need, like, one, like, millionaire to fund it. Just hand me over, like, $50,000 so I can travel to Argentina and Brazil. And do that. Hire, uh... A professional cinematographer to professionally film the entire thing and bring them there. That'd be pretty sweet. You, you have me. Yeah, you, you have me. You can find someone to supply all that. I'd be I'd be on a plane tomorrow. For Lake Dursar, got a silver fox and found my first resting zone. Might just go watch your beginner series. Heck yeah! Go do it. Go do it. And you don't even need to watch the beginner series, per se. But, uh, I would watch the, uh, beginner guide video. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Usually if you just go to... Oh, shoot, I forgot to change the, uh... The thumbnail on my video. Gosh darn it. I made an entirely new thumbnail for this video, and I forgot to do it. There we go, I got it. I got it. There you go. That is the best the hunter called the wild guide that you can that like the most comprehensive the hunter called the wild guide. One video that you can watch. I'm telling you. Ethan Wheeler, how am I today? I'm I'm doing quite well, thanks for asking. What maps are best for turkey hunting? That's what I was asking earlier. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, there's only a few maps that have turkeys, so I would just try them out, see what you think. I think a lot of people would think, uh, uh, oh, the Rocky Mountain map, which is, the name is escaping me, Silver Peaks Ridge, Silver, Silver Ridge Peaks. So a lot of people like that one for turkey. Um, Mississippi has turkeys, I believe. Rev, oh, not Reventuli. Rancho del Arroyo has turkeys. Um, they're all different kinds of turkeys, though. So you should more likely be asking, you know, where is the best map to go for eastern turkeys? Because then I'd be like, oh, go to Mississippi, I believe. So that's what I would do. Have a great rest of the tree, Mr. Amazing. Thank you. Certainly will. Alright, we still have an eastern wind. There's unfortunately no outpost over here to put goose decoys on. Let's just go back and get some of these golden eye again. We'll have to sleep to the next day and, um... And, uh, get a different wind so that we can go somewhere else. Your cat licked your dog? On the angle, I tried a lot of fishing games, and for now, the only one that I found really nice and realistic was Russian Fishing Park, especially the amazing carp fishing. Yeah, no, they have great carp fishing on that game. Um, it just takes way too long to do anything in that game, for me anyway. Um, for someone who just wants to play a game and relax, like, that's great. But every time I play a game, I have to do something to make a video about. Um, otherwise, I'm wasting time. It's a strange concept, unless you make videos. But, um... Yeah, we're not laying down, it seems. Oh, come on! One of those had to hit it! I call Blogna. We got a bunch of them. Ah, oh, they're geese. Dumb. The lookout towers look pretty cool. They do look pretty cool, don't they? Yeah. We joked that they were, uh, Ikea specials. They were, uh, they were made from a flat pack of Ikea. Ikea wood and stuff like that. You are so cool, but I don't know about that, Carlos. You're, you're cool in my eyes. Carlos is cool to me. Alright, we got widgeons. So tempting to shoot those two right next to each other right now. But we'll be patient. We'll be patient. 
Where are your fists in next in Fishing Planet? What are you talking about, Bill? Indeed, Beagle. Words are hard. I'm going to call you Beagle Man. Be the Beagle. The Beagle Man. Time to hop on some Diablo 2 right on. Lurking and listening. Happy hunting. Thank you, TKG. You as well. Have fun on uh, Diablo. Sounds fun. I remember playing Diablo. Oh, golly. I don't remember which one it was. I used to have the box of it up there on the up there on my bookcase. <laughs> that's how old that's how long ago I played it. Alrighty. Get into a good spot now. You did not get into a good spot. Just saying. Just saying. We're honestly so far away though, we could probably wait until this uh, this other flock comes in. Then take them all. I think we got Widgeons and Golden Eyes here. From what I can see from right here, anyway. Oh, yeah, lots of them. We got another flock coming in, goodness gracious. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Land, ducks, land. Oh, that third shot went nowhere. Reload quick. No. Okay. It's worth a try. Do you think they will add a desert map? To... To what? To Fishing Planet? Because if you're talking about the Hunter Call of the Wild, they've already added a desert map. Right on, right on. Got some old ducks. I don't like being able to reach and dismantle decoys from the from the blind. Will you stop playing classic for the ducks now because of the new mechanics on the map on Call of Wild? Honestly, probably. Um, I really just don't see it. Don't see the need to to do it on classic. Um, I'm kind of curious, honestly, because it seems, seems to me, that Way of the Hunter is is somehow connected to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I, I may be confused on this, but that's the way I see it. It seems like they're somehow connected somehow, 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 somehow. Um, and it makes me wonder if the Way of the Hunter is eventually supposed to like replace Call of the Wild. Or what the plan is. Or if the way of the Hunter is just supposed to be a more difficult version of the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'll be really eager to see. Um, but it certainly makes me wonder what the plan is there. And if that is the plan, then, um, I mean, is anyone going to be like Classic at that point? Not only will you have a more realistic hunting game, but then it will be like current gen graphics and whatnot. All right, ducks, you've flown around for far too long. Let's go ahead and land. Really love your last carp fishing video. Can't wait for the next one. Hey, right on. Yeah, we got a we got a pretty decent one in that. I mean, it was pretty anyway. It wasn't like huge, but it was definitely a, a pretty one. Great scales on it. Ugh, how's Zach doing? Ooh, pretty well, as far as I'm aware. Just got one last duck. Oh, two last ducks, I guess we're waiting on here. Um, yeah, Zach's doing just fine, though. Starting to work. A big, a big, big man. He's a big man now, doing work and stuff. Still finding time to play video games, though. My sister just brought me in and out and some Jamba Juice. Oh my god. Bro, that's my biggest thing from, uh... Okay, this duck is just gonna keep spinning around the circle. Uh Annoying. Up in the trees. Yeah, I miss In-N-Out. I can't remember what I used to always get. 
Uh, it was one of the special, the special things that aren't on the menu. But uh, and I loved it now. Can't I? We used to eat there way more than we ever should have. I remember when we first went there. I mean, we'd get it two, three times a week. It was just, it was just sweet. Just sweet thing to have. Some tarm get over here. Doing tarm again. Hear them, don't see them anywhere. Oh. Hmm. Do you have all the maps on Fishing Planet? No. No, I don't have the Congo. That's the only one I don't have right now. Getting low on ammo. Yeah, we are, aren't we? You know, I have bought 250 rounds of ammo twice since I've been on Reventuli. That tells you how many times I've shot. Almost 500 times. <laughs> oh, God. There's just so much waterfowl on this map. So many birds. It's just a blast, dude. So much fun. It looks like that fun is starting to come to an end. Cause don't see any more ducks or geese or anything. Let's go ahead and uh, it's getting a little late. Not super late. Let's go ahead and just sleep and uh, wake up in the morning and see where which way the wind's blowing, and we'll choose uh, choose where we set up based on that. Basically, like the video already. Oh, Avery's setting everyone straight. <laughs> Reventuli in eight hours and counting. Have you got another diamond? No, not since that darn goose. We really haven't been looking that hard, though. We should buy more uh, ammo. We we're just talking about it. Can we buy that? Uh, how how expensive is the Cacciatore? It's forty eight thousand. Let's try it out then. You can put. Um, can you put a scope on this thing? Raptor Reflex. Can you put this on a uh, shotgun? I feel like I might have saw that somewhere. Um, let's see here. Let's try the Cacciatore out. Okay, can't do it with that. Twelve gauge bird shot. The Kajitori is twelve gauge, isn't it? I believe, isn't it? Twelve gauge, yeah. Let's buy a few twelve gauge rounds. Now we're stuck using it, so we better enjoy it. Oh, didn't put the didn't put that in there though. That's fun to use. AJD with the sub. Thank you. Thank you, AJD. <gasps> oh, no. Dude, do we have enough money to even rest? I think I might have spent so much money that we don't have enough time. <gasps> no, that's terrible. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. We'll just wait for another flock. Harsh world we live in. Do you duck hunt in real life? If not, would you like to? Uh, no, I've been duck hunting a few times. I don't do it like myself, but I, I have friends who do it, and they invite me out sometimes. So I've gone duck hunting in Kansas once, and I've gone duck hunting in Nebraska once. That's fun. SLZ, big fan. Big old Mikey. Mikey's a big fan. Big Mikey is a big fan. I don't mean that in any sort of physical way, Mikey. But yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. How are ya? Carlos. Bo. Carlos. What level is the new map? What what new map are we talking about? Fishman. Hi. How are ya? 
We can get the new red dot on the shotgun. Okay. We just don't have any, uh, we just don't have any handgun skill, unfortunately. We can't even get it. Drop your address. <laughs> Got any tips for carp fishing in Deep Lake with a low stock off weary 40 pound carps? Oh, golly. You know, the Corda has a lot of videos of that sort of stuff. Um, it's summertime now, so we're probably into the spotting season, right? Throw out some bait. Um, you know, in the United States, we, we just use method leads, but I know it's a big thing in England to, uh, in, in abroad to, uh, like spot out a bunch of bait and then set boilies down on top of it. You know, if you try to use boilies in the U S you're more likely to catch catfish. Catfish love boilies. Um, and the carp are kind of weary of them, but, um, but yeah. Yeah, they're finally coming in the land. Nope. Okay. Nope. Going back up for another loop. It looks like, or they're about to land somewhere else. Are you really landing on land right now? Let's say I'm taking it. Wow. Well, something else. Can't tell if they're coming in the land or on the defensive now. Probably should have shot at them. Well, we have enough to uh, change the time now, at least. That's all we needed. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Please use your perk and skill points. It helps a lot. Do I have any left? Oh wow, I have four. I have leveled up so much here, it's ridiculous. I haven't even been paying attention. That's just how many times I've leveled up in Revan Tuli just from shooting stuff. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's your favorite map in Call of the Wild? Woo. Brahanga is usually my favorite map, man. All right, we got a western wind now. Let's see here. Western wind. You know, really none of my spots are really great with a western wind, but the closest one is the goose spot up here. So let's go try to get some geese. Um, but yeah, Verhonga is great. I honestly, Reventuli is probably my second favorite now, just because I love birds. Verhonga has no birds, but I love the African animals. So I go from African animals to birds, and there are lots of birds on on the Reventuli. So that's what that's how my rating scale goes, evidently. What's your rating of the map out of ten? Bz Tan Tan says uh, eight and a half. It's very specific. Um, I think that the birds, the, the ducks and the geese, take too long to land. And I think that uh, the ptarmigan and, and grouse and stuff, I think they scare too easily from too far away. So once those two things get fixed, honestly, I think it'd be a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, it's just a great map. It's just a lot of fun. I realize if pe if you're not a big like bird hunting person, then you probably won't like Reventuli as much as me. But uh, but I love all the birds. So to me, this is a great map. Retentive, but they're coming in. Let's see. We got a Canada goose and we got a gray leg goose caller. But we don't need gray leg. We need bean. There we go. How many diamonds do you have? I've got 31. You know, I honestly don't know. Um, right now on this account, we only have like, golly, a, a, a two or three something. We have three. Um, I don't remember how many we had on the last account. I honestly, I've never been like a huge diamond counting person. Um, so, I, I have no idea. 
Anything good? Anything good? Not really. We just uh, we just got the Cacciatore though, which is pretty neato. Waiting for these geese to come in. Isn't it cheaper to rest at a tent or am I crazy? I, I've never heard of that, but maybe. Maybe that's just something I never picked up on, eh? Do you remember the Angler's Guide? Angler's Guide. No, I don't think so. I have, um... Uh, have an old Stoger hunting catalog, but I don't have the Angler's Guide. Angler's Guide. What is that, Angler, Angler's Guide? It sounds so familiar, but I really have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, geese! You've been flying up above for like five minutes now, it seems. Taking grand old time. Got two more to land. I think we're gonna take chase after him. All right, everyone ready for this? Where's the bugle? Ah, uh, where's the bugle? Charge! I was gonna say, I cannot believe we didn't shoot that one. They just had some bean geese mixed in with some Canadians, I believe. Or maybe they were all bean geese, I don't know. Pretty impressed with how fast this pump gun shoots, honestly. And doesn't use them. Well, I'm busy doing stuff. No one wants to see me put perk points and skill points on. But if I choose the wrong ones, then I'm stuck with them, and uh, then everyone's gonna judge me for my weird choices. <laughs> Can't really see what the fish is. That is uh, an African tiger fish. My wife caught it when we were in Zambia. Um, I have a video about it. If you uh, search tiger fish. And, uh, and wade through the uh, Fishing Planet videos, you'll, uh, you'll eventually find the uh, Tigerfish video where I talk about... I show some, some uh, little clips of us fishing for it in Zambia, and, uh, and just like the company that mounted it and whatnot. Because um, it's, a, it's a reproduction of it, so... I just thought the whole process was kind of neat. Does the map come with all the collars, etc., or is there separate DLCs? Uh, no, the map comes with all the collars. Some of them you have to buy, um, but you actually get a few of them. Get a few of them and some decoys, um, but not all of them. What's your favorite gun on the Hunter? Um, I've always liked the, the 470. 470 double barrel rifle. I don't use it very much, but I always thought it was a really cool gun. It just reminded me of the, uh, the African hunters of old running around the African savanna with their big, big guns. I always thought that was really cool. <clears throat> Angler's Guide was your old name, so I don't remember that at all. But I remember everyone who ever comes into the stream, so... If that was your name, then I guess so. <laughs> Honk. What is your opinion on Call of the Wild, the Angler? I'm excited for it, Alec. Um, obviously, great team behind it. Um, always seem to create quality outdoor games, and I'm sure they'll put the same quality into the fishing game. Um, I, I made a, uh, I made one request when I watched the trailer. I said that the guy holding the bait casting rod was doing it wrong and that they needed to fix that. But once they fix that, then I'm all about it. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> he threw a bait casting rod 
but he didn't have his thumb on the spool. And I was like, he's just gonna get backlash. You can't, you can't toss bait casting rod like that. <laughs> and of course, Ron McTube was like, oh, that's fine. It's, it's good. It, it looks fine to me. And I was like, no, it's not fine. They need to fix it. It doesn't look real. <laughs> What's up, oh, any luck yet? Cuckoo, I mean, we've got lots of birds, man. I mean, if that's lucky, then absolutely. We've been lucky, been very lucky. I'm really, the wind is turning so much now that this spot, it really isn't that great anymore. But we'll wait till this next flock lands and, uh, and then we'll move on to another location where this kind of western, I guess this is more of a southeastern wind will be better. Ugh. Tony Holler, do I remember you? Well, I remember everyone who comes into the stream. So if you've been here before, obviously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got stuff landing? Bazin! Bazin! Oh, okay. We evidently already scared them away. Interesting. It must have landed, like, right on top of us or something. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking at all this stuff. Looking at all this stuff. Where even are they? This one's floating over to us. We snatch it. There we go. There we go, and we got this one right here too. Sweet. Sweet. Ooh. Hmm. 691's gotta go though. See you later, 691. Can't wait for new hunter map tomorrow. It'll be awesome, Daniel Jones. It'll be awesome. Alright, we got a got a south. What do we got? It's going west now. Ugh. Really just not a great wind. What's my favorite thing to hunt? Ducks. The ducks, man. The ducks are where it's at. Ducks are easily my favorite part of the game right now. <laughs> of course, it's totally switched to a western wind. This is going to be ugly. But we'll try it out. Tough to ducks. This location is just it. There's so many waterfowl species that come past this location that this is just it just becomes a bird nado above you where it just birds as far as the eye can see <laughs> so many dang birds man there's already another flock coming in we've already got like 50 birds ahead of us just get the wind protection spray works like a charm i also bet my grandma would beat you in a 1v1 in fishing plant oh really okay i see how it is We'll never know, though. <laughs> we will be getting the angler. Will we also get a hunting planet game? Uh, we'll, we'll be getting the way of the hunter. Which I have a feeling is made by the same people. Alright, we're getting lots of ducks landing now. Lots of ducks landing now, boys. Where are you? You're a tufted. Okay. Interesting. Peace landing over there.
Huh. I don't know about this shotgun yet. I'm not sold on it. It's a male tufted. Any trophies? Oh, they're all trophies in my book. I don't, I don't like to think of them, you know, as any less than any of the others. You know, they're all quality ducks to me. Lived great lives. Probably did some great stuff. You know, all ten out of tens to me. When does it drop? What time? I, I have heard that it drops 4 a.m. Eastern time. Whether that's true, I don't know. Basically, midnight Pacific time, um, if I have that right. Think we can play together one day? I, I honestly think that this map is a perfect map for playing together, you know? I, I could definitely see us doing a, uh, a, uh, a live stream out here. Everyone gets in the blinds and whatnot, and we wait for ducks to come over. I count down. I go three. Oh, wait, it's not going to work. Three, two. Oh, you can't even see it. One, and then I and then I take the first shot. Boom, and then everyone else goes boom, 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 and we just destroy a bunch of ducks together. I think it sounds fun. Do you ever get pooped on when you're in a blind? No, I'm just I'm super agile, you know. I just dodge everything. I'm a little karate kid over here. Out of the whole early access, what do you rate the map? Eight and a half out of ten. Absolutely. 3 a.m. Central Time, 5 a.m. Eastern. Oh, so now you're saying 5 a.m. Eastern Time. See, I had heard 4 a.m. Eastern Time. Now I don't know what to believe. Imogen's here. How's it going? Hey, dude. Gotta go. Okay, see you later there, Trota Man. And uh, invest in a PC. So that means 4 a.m. Kansas boy time. Uh, I guess if it's five, it's 5 a.m. now. Then yeah, I guess so. Better be waking up early, eh? All right, are we gonna take a flock of geese coming in eventually? One goose there. did a whole the whole spiel there didn't they just went around the whole circle distracting me one goose couple of ducks couple of ducks got another duck to pick up on the other side of this uh blind as well yeah i got uh mixed up in that tree there kind of lost him in the tree oh there's one flying up above there Way up high. I'm in for that, although I won't be shooting Canadians. No Canadians. All the Canadians live. An hour ahead of Central. Yes, indeed. 9.51 where I'm at. It's 8.54 where I'm at. <gasps> you're an hour and three minutes ahead. Uh, three, you're, oh wait, you're 51. So I guess you're 57 minutes ahead of me. That's crazy. Tyranno King's here. How's it going, Tyranno King? Got some gray leg geese coming in now. Everyone, hold on to your handbags. Bunch of gray leg geese coming in. They sound weird. They do weird things. They land for like 10 seconds and then they get up and fly off. Crazies. Bunch of crazy gray leg geese. I got some tufted ducks now and some more geese way off in the distance. Come on, geese. Bye, bye, I've got to sleep. It's 3 a.m. here in the UK. Five gaming, you better get to sleep. Goodness gracious. 1.55 p.m. 
Imogen, where the heck are you living, man? You, you down in South America or in Alaska or something? Got anything good? You betcha. We've gotten lots of ducks and geese. They're all good in my eyes. 9.55 for you. 8.55 for me. What? He lives an hour in the future. New Zealand? New Zealand? That's crazy. Look at all these goosers coming in. Outdoors with the sub. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right, you ready for this? Die, geese, die. Bunch of freaking baloney. How the heck did we miss those? Literally, I'm done with this shotgun. I'm already done with it. I hate it. I'm moving back to my semi-autos. I get three shots, but at least I know they'll hit stuff. I'm tired of it. I'm blaming it on the shotgun. I don't know what to tell you. You know, if we switch back to the semi-auto and I'm doing just as bad, then, then I'll admit it was me. But until then, I'm going back to my freaking semi-auto, dude. Can't tell me. Can't tell me what to do. Yeah. Give me back my camouflage gun. Get rid of that nonsense. Golly. Only got 35, 33 rounds with it though. Just spent $48,000 on the busted shotgun. Can't shoot anything with it. <laughs> Let's make sure we have enough rounds here. Just a few, just a few. All right, we're good. Let's shoot some stuff now. Now that we have a working shotgun here. Fishing planet? Question mark? What about it? Quite excitedly for the map. Quite excited for the map. I don't know why I added an LY on there. Quite excited for the map. Well, that's good. I, I was excited for it too. And then it came out and I was like, yep. Love it. Hi, Grey Goose. Two females. Only worried about my accuracy with these new waterfowl on my controller. Oh, it'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know what? You'll be so much better afterwards. You'll probably end up winning some Call of Duty tournaments. And people will be like, oh my god, how did you get so good at Call of Duty? And you'll be like, well, spent a lot of time hunting waterfowl in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Raventuli Coast, to be precise. In fact, I would just leave it at that. Let them figure out what Raventuli Coast is. Appear like Rocky or something. Just be like, Oh, yes, I did most of my training in Raventuli Coast. And then they'll be like, Oh, Raventuli Coast, oh, Raventuli Coast, oh, Raventuli Coast, yeah, sure. Oh, that's that's where all the greats, all the greats trained in Raventuli Coast. Yep, I think that'd be great. You tend to stress out and turn your flashlight on somehow? That sounds, uh, too interesting to not be some sort of story. <laughs> it has to be true, you know? You can't just make up a story like that. <laughs> uh, do we shoot this one dock here, or do we wait for all these mallards to come and land? That is the question. Your name is Bo, right? Absolutely. I just spell it B-O, though. You know, like body odor is the joke. Yeah. Are you going to make some more videos? Yeah? That's the plan. We literally put out a video last week. You know we have over 200 Fishing Planet videos? It's kind of crazy to think about. My grandma is level 80 prestige, 9,000 on Fishing Planet. She cracked and wins all tournaments. All tournaments. I don't doubt it. Don't doubt it one bit. I think I know exactly who she is, too. Oh, superior. 
Any diamonds? They're all diamonds in my book. My goodness, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. I'm like Oprah when it comes to diamonds here in this game. Every time I shoot a duck, they're a diamond to me. Here we go. Been waiting a long time for this moment. Really far away there. They, oh, they came off the island. Good deal. I was going to say. I was going to have to walk over to that island over there to pick them up. But they all floated over to us. That was nice of them. All females. Smoking gooses and Ryans. Imagine wearing a camo hat. I, I can imagine that. Imagine wearing an Adidas camo hat. A company that doesn't even make camo made a camo hat. How cool is that? I've watched all of them and I need you to make more. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds like you don't. Sounds like your grandma is the, is the best fishing plant player ever. You should just ask her how to do things. Amber! Hello, Amber! Body odor. Hello, Mr. Body odor. That's exactly right. Caught a 70-pound catfish. My golly. What kind of catfish, Aiden? Smoking. It is a viable hunt without decoys and camping. I like more roaming. Uh, yeah, probably won't work that way, Cobra. Um, better off to use decoys. I mean, there's a possibility you might be able to, like, lay prone or something like that and try calling them in, but a lot easier having all the decoys, especially, I mean, the golden eye and the tufted duck, they don't even respond to calls. There's not even a call that they go to, so you can only get them with decoys. Flathead, very cool. Aiden, you'll have to uh, post a picture in the Discord so we can see that. 70 pound flathead, that's awesome. Can't wait to play this tomorrow. I can't either. I'll probably play it some more tomorrow too. There we go. Yeah, make sure you land super far away. There we go, good job guys, that's the way I like it. Yeah, way off there so that I can, like, barely see you. That's the place to be. Good job. That'll work. Yep, just stay over there. Got some tufted ducks coming in. They should make a bird dog. Ah, you know, I believe they are. Um, a while back, I got into, uh... I got into a, like, a survey sort of thing where we tested the uh, Bloodhound Dog. And um, and that was a pretty cool experience. So we tested it before it came out to everyone else and told them what we thought of it and anything they should change and stuff like that. And recently they put out another one of those survey type deals. Um, so I assume it's for another dog, honestly. <laughs> and uh, it makes me wonder if it's for... Uh, bird dog of some sort. Can't tell which are actual ducks and which are decoys. Hurry! Got him. Got him dead. Got him dead. Got, got her. Sorry. Mistake. My my bad. There's a male. 886. One of these days we're gonna get a diamond, aren't we? 855. Okay, what'd you do that for, he now? Crazy kook. 
Is the raccoon dog actually raccoon G-O and no one notice? I I I doubt it. <laughs> I don't know. What's crazy about hunting ducks is how they sound like jets. They sound like jets, eh? Got him, got him, got him. So we got a southern wind right now. What do we got here? More tough to ducks, my goodness gracious. Tough to ducks are just coming in like crazy. Their second flock of tough, tough to ducks in a row. Hey, by the way, everyone, if you want to know where these uh, spots are, make sure you watch the uh, the duck and goose hunting guide we just put out today about Rev and Thule. Um, that has six different locations um, so that on day one of Rev and Thule, you can come out here, set up your blinds, and get ready for the geese to come in. Um, ge ducks and geese, I guess. Lots of tufteds. Lots of tufteds. Oh no, they're landing in the worst possible spot. I might actually move this over a little bit. That way we can shoot those ducks over there. I think we might, uh, call me crazy. I think we might do a, a charge over there, guys. You hope it's a great one, Moose? I think it's a great one, Moose, man. That or we might just take shots from over here. I'm just gonna shoot wildly over there and just see. <laughs> nah, they already cleared us. Got four though, that's not bad. I saw the mohawk on this guy. 921, that's getting up there. 963 is the diamond score, so that one was close. 889. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Still have a mallard pickup over here, unless this is a... That's a mallard. Female mallard. Don't have any inventory capacity, okay. I think we should move this duck blind over to like right here or something. Kind of where these rocks are. <laughs> that way we can shoot the ducks that land over there. What makes the most money in Reventuli? I mean, honestly, if you can get a good uh, goose spread, the goose, they pay you like $650 a pop. So if you can get over to and get a good spot for geese, here, we'll move over, because it's actually a pretty decent win for geese right now. Move over and try to get some. 99.9% .9 chance it's a moose. Oh, I'm thinking, man. Oh, you turned left. Whoa, look at all of them! Oh my god, this is driving me crazy. Oh, I hesitated. Should've just shot. Wow, there were so many geese over here. One Canadian. One Canadian down. Off-season route. Off-season route. See the shadow. Where are you? More geese, unless those are ducks. Geese. Alright, let's just see if we get more geese to come in. Wow, that was so... I, I was honestly thinking that those two that were sitting there were just two oddballs, but if we would have just rounded the corner there, oh my god, we probably could have got four or five geese. Holy crap. Five freaking ticks on you? No way. I don't like ticks at all. Michael, thank you, thank you for the sub, Michael. That's when you go, it's actually Mikhail. God, you can't pronounce anyone's names right. A Greylig geese coming in now. Great. Greylig. Yo, yo, yo. 
I think they have turf wars with the Canadians, honestly. Low chance for a moose, actually. Yeah, you think so? I bet you'll feel really silly if it's a moose now. Huh? Ask me what I'm doing in my room all day, and I'm gonna say shooting virtual ducks. I'm trying to make a living. Come on now. I'm trying to get us some ducks for dinner. Ducks for dinner. D for D. You like duck hunting in real life? Yeah, I enjoy it too. Whenever I get invited to go duck hunting, I always seem to have a good time. Of course, now we have a western wind now. Ugh, has it always been a western wind or did we have a northern wind? I can't remember now. It'll be interesting to see where these uh, geese land with these big... Big ol' uh, trees in our way. <laughs> uh, and deer, I, I pronounced that right? Good deal. When geese were worth thousand? I do, yeah. They were way, way overpriced. Mir, eh? Or do you do mer? It's just mer. Imagine a great one mallard. I cannot. I feel to be a great one mallard, it would have to be like gilded and gold or something. Charge! They're so far away. Yeah, this is not a good spot for western wind stuff. It would've been sweet if we got a diamond randomly, though. Two geese, we actually did shoot diamonds. It's like the worst possible wind I could possibly have. None of my sights work with a western wind, or a northwestern wind. I guess technically the E is silent. So just mer. I said mer. A. That changes the time. Come on, wind. Give us a good wind. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. All right. Here we go. We're golden now. Give us some geese. Give us some geese. Let's go. Is this the best map now? Well, it doesn't have any African animals on it, so no. Obviously not. <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely the best map for waterfowl, eh? Honestly, best map for uh, birds in general. I think this map is just probably best bird map in the game right now. Um, but yeah. Geeses? I hear geeses. Gray legs, gray legs. A single gray leg. What are you doing, gray leg? I wish they would fix the winning game. Be nice if it would not follow you around like a magnet. Follows you around like a magnet? You've buffalo hunted before in Alaska. Bison. I was about to say. There ain't no buffalo in Alaska. You crazy. Well, how did it go? Did you get a bison? What time is it for you? It's 9.14. We got 16 minutes remaining, everybody. And still six likes to go. I don't know. Are we gonna get to it? It's up in the air. It is up in the air. We got a single goose out here. So that's a high shot to take. <laughs> Little delay, but we got her. Bunch of Canadians. Bunch of Canadians flying away. What the heck?
More gray leg geese. Just another single gray leg geese. They're just gonna send it out. Oh, we got two. Okay. Three. Three gray leg geese. Four. Four gray. Nope, just three. So strange. It is indeed, turkey. Vaclure is here. It's not Vaclure, but I like saying it like that. Vaclure. You are on the Vaclure estate. Get off my property or I will shoot. I don't know. <laughs> I've given you a whole backstory now. You live on an estate, and if anyone gets on your estate, you're going to shoot them. <laughs> but you're also kind of like a, like a crotchety old wine, like a wine producer. Like you have a vineyard, you know? But you're real upset about people always stepping onto your property, so you're always just like, hey, you know. That's, that's how I picture Vaclure. 105 likes now, what? Get out of my swamp! Yeah, exactly. Sort of like that, but vineyard style. Upper class swamp sort of thing. Where's your landing way over there? What are you doing? You crazy? It's gonna be a heck of a shot. Is this music we're listening to right now? Hey, come on now. There's this spiral. It's like a goose serpentine that they're like freaking flying there. What is that? Ridiculous is what it is. What is it always we take shots at a gray leg geese and then there's a flock of Canadians flying away? What's the deal? How come they don't fly over here? Here we got some more Canadians. Come on, Canadians. I'm speaking your language. This, uh... This call is just constantly going, A? A? Don't you know? All Canadian words. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Just a bunch of Canadian words to bring Canadians in. Do a Scottish act. I'm not sure. I better not. I think I think I always have to say donkey. Now, does anyone else have to start a Scottish accent by saying donkey these days? Donkey! <laughs> I feel like that's required. Are we at the fair? Are we at the fair? Good thing your real name isn't Vaclure. Well, I, I guess so. We don't want to... Don't want to, you know, put too much pressure on the Vaclure name. Officially scanning this entire flock and so far no fives. It's the first flock. I've done that with That's how serious I'm taking this flock And forget hockey. Oh, I forgot hockey hockey maple syrup a eh? Don't ya know? But these are gray leggy, so it's not gonna work for them. Taco. Timmy's. Donkey. <laughs> hey, Bobby, how's it going? Well, I'm Canadian, so I guess the collar works. We brought you in, Ian. <laughs> Digital Vaclure can live on the vineyard. Yeah, thank you. Good deal. I like this uh, made up story we got for the Vaclure name. The Vaclure name. Get off my vineyard, or I'll shoot. <laughs> uh, and I can't tell, is it a harvester that's on your picture? I just always pictured it as a raven for some reason, because it's just, I just see like this thing that kind of looks like a beak. So it just added to that kind of upper class raven, rich vineyard person for some reason, I don't know. 
Oh my god, dude. Whoa! How did that not hit him? He's an invincible goose. We got him, though. We took him down. He just had some Kevlar on him. No big deal. Nothing that the semi auto can't handle. Yeah, let me out. Gosh. We got him. It's a harvester. Good deal. Ducks rest in land and water by themselves without collars, though. Uh, yeah. Still, yeah. I guess. They do. I think, anyway. Got any more over here? Yeah, we got one. That goose was about to suicide bomb you. I I agree. Wait, we can't even pick him up. That's how uh, that's how busted he was. It's because we shot him like five times and he never dropped out of the sky. Freaking bugged goose. I knew it. What's going on over here? Now he's over here. What's the deal? Avengers unite. Got ya. I am a master of goose hunting. Mm. Male pink pigs are rare. Sounds like a like a password. Something you would walk up to a random person on the street and be like, "The male pink pigs are rare." And then the other person would look at you and go, Pink as midnight. <laughs> Love. I, I don't know. I can't think of anything cool. <laughs> and then and then you know, like, they're the informant, you know? And then you can, you know, then, then you can get the information you need. What about the females? Yeah, pink females. Psh, we see them all the time. Don't even, don't even ask me, bro. I would have been here earlier. Hey, no big deal, man. Friends are a big deal, too. I get it. I get it. Friends are cool. I have some of those. I bought them on sale. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta get them cheap. Gotta get them cheap. No, I'm kidding. Saw it on sale down at the Kmart. Got it for a real good price. What about females? ASMR. Yes, ASMR. Asthma, as I like to call it. Everyone's worried about the asthma. You know, a lot of people, a lot of kids have asthma these days. They get uh, a <clears throat> get running around and whatnot, and they lose their breath and everything, and then they gotta take like breathing treatments and whatnot so that they don't. Uh, you know, the asthma doesn't get them too bad. You know how it is. You know how it is. Where are you? You were just there. Where the heckin' doodle did you go? It was literally just coming in the land. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. This one was coming in the land, so I went over and shot these two and turned up and it was gone. What's the deal? What's the deal? Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade or Powerade? Uh, I'm more Gatorade person. I like this. I like sweeter things, I guess. But I will drink a Powerade if, if you know, if the need arises. You know, they're like, hey, you don't drink this Powerade right now. You're gonna regret it. And then I'll be like, ah, oh, okay, you sold me. I will drink the Powerade. Spent two hours organizing your tackle box earlier. Nice. My uh, my father-in-law told me uh, earlier, uh, he said, uh, he looked at my uh, tackle box and stuff and he said, son, you're too organized to be a real angler. <laughs> I said, uh, thank you, I think. Is that, 
it's a compliment? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I know, it is. I was like, oh, thanks. I had a friend in middle school who had a kid ask him to try his vape. He was using a freaking asthma inhaler. An asthma inhaler, my golly. Freaking asthma inhalers, wow. Tackle box. Easter egg, Easter egg for Call of the Wild the Angler. Darn asthmers. I tell you what, I don't even want to hunt geese anymore. It's not going to be an ideal win, but I think we're going to have a lot more fun in the last five minutes hunting golden eyes and widgeons, so let's go over here. You mostly have to be organized. I got gotcha. you. I I get you. I understand. You know, earlier today I saw that Flinter had a thousand people watching him during his live stream. I I also think we probably have a thousand people watching right now, but for some reason YouTube is only chalking it up as as sixty nine. I somehow it's missing that other uh, nine hundred and uh, and and. 30 31 people or something like that, but I I'm pretty I'm pretty darn sure we we've probably got a thousand here I'm not gonna put money on it, but uh feeling pretty confident Golden eyes here we go 67 60 see that's the crazy thing is I've actually got two different concurrent viewers I've got one up top that says 67 right now the other one now has 70. I don't know which is true. They they never say the same thing. Right now one says 69, the other one says 70. Now one says 71, the other one says 70. Uh what's what's true? What's what's the facts? What time does the update come out tomorrow? Someone just told me 5 p.m. Eastern time. Now, another person said 4 p.m. or 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Another person said 4 a.m. Eastern Time. And I was more willing to believe that. Uh, just because 4 a.m. Eastern would be midnight Pacific. So, that made more sense to me. Um, but, whatever, whatever people think, I guess. Ah! Nice little golden eye. Making sure the stream is appropriate. Oh, I know. I know. That's probably what's going on. You know? They're probably, uh... The other, uh, thousand, or, uh, 929 people right now are, are probably stuck behind some sort of survey or something to make sure that they're, you know, friendly people and all that sort of stuff, so. That's why it's only showing 70, but. I guess I'm pretty sure there's a thousand people here. All watching. No one wants to miss the BZ Hub stream, you know how it is? You know how it is? Don't you just go to school sometimes? <laughs> go to work and, and, you know... First thing, first thing your uh, coworkers or buddies at school usually say is, uh, "Hey, did you watch the did you watch the live stream? BZ Hub live stream last night." And uh, and luckily tomorrow you'll all be able to go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Um, and then you know the other guy will be like, "Well, I heard there was a thousand people there." He'll be like, "Yeah, that's what I heard. It was only showing." 68 at the time, but yeah, there was definitely a thousand. I'm pretty sure so it's pretty it's pretty cool You know to, to Instantly have that 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 one thing in common with your uh, peers You know BC up live stream Can you stream for another six hours, please? Uh, you know what? At my clock I'm wide open. So yeah, sure. Let's just keep going, huh? No, you crazy. I gotta do other stuff. If I, if I tried doing that, my, my wife would come in here and just uh, pull all the cords out. She'd say, uh, nah, you gotta come inside. Yeah, you, you gotta come inside. Stop hunting outside. 
I come inside, spend time with the family. Spend time with these dogs. Missing out. Missing out on the attention. Are you gonna land on land again? These freaking ducks, dude. Oh, no, nope, no, nope. he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it on the on the shore. Good deal, good deal. Well, it shouldn't be too bad of a shot, I guess. Oh, that one's up on the land, okay. That one too. All right, top notch. Kinda going half and half right now. Nope, majority of them are up on land, okay. Okay, well, here we go. Last ducks of the live stream. Let's go. Where are they? Golly, are you freaking crazy, dude? My goodness, they're up high. Well, we still got three, but my god, we had to work for it. Goodness gracious. We got four! Top notch. They're widgeons. Widgeon, widgeon. Ugh. When is the angler update coming out? I don't know. I don't know. I assume, uh, like, uh, what was it? September, October, something like that. We were thinking. Female gray widgeon. Very pretty, very pretty. The second time it's done that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Stop it! Stop! We don't want to get into the freaking thing! It doesn't say get into the thing, it says confirm trophy. Golly, man. Alright, everybody, well, we got more ducks coming in, but the ducks are constantly coming in, so what can you do? What can you do? So you, someone was asking about, do you need decoys or can you wander around? I mean, I, we didn't use, we didn't really use calls or anything there. Just stood here as they were flying over and got two of them at least. You know a place called Lo Long Island? <laughs> Long Island's not a place. That's a drink, you crazy. Um, I've, I've. I mean, honestly, I haven't heard of it, but I've heard of it through the drink, I guess. <laughs> what DLC do you need for the new map? You need the new Reventuli Coast DLC, which is uh, coming out to purchase t tomorrow morning, I guess. For, for uh, US people. Early in the morning. But uh, for everyone in Europe, it'll probably be uh, in the afternoon or somewhere. Like noon. Noon o'clock or something. I always join the streams before they end. What Preda? Don't you know our live stream start at 7.30 central time? 7.30 p.m. central. I say it at the end of every video. That's okay, though. We'll catch you next time, everybody. Well, this was fun. Oh, last video, last live stream um, of the beta Reventuli Coast before it comes out, everyone. It's been fantastic. I hope everyone is super excited. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen it, let me let me get it up. Let me get it up for you, just so that you can click on the hyperlink here. If you haven't seen the insane six insane goose spots, okay? Six insane goose spots to get you started off Reventuli Coast, right there. Just posted the link there. All El Donzo, El Donzo. Did I say that right? Thank you for the sub. Anyway, check that video out to uh, get a head start on the new map. All right, all good night. Have a great night, Bo. Matthew Talent, you take care as well. Thanks to everyone for being here. Woodworking Beagle for being our mod tonight. But yeah, take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember everyone. Planet One Family, game on.